messenger for this nation is, should something happen to this person, that nation might crumble. Do you see such a danger for you? Well, I was trying to <clears throat> touch this subject, that the structure, the smooth running engine is the structure of the country. We have a political party. We have uh, the people participating in the affairs of the country, be it the daily routine affairs or even political one, starting down from the village level up to the two houses of parliament with the uh, village councils, city councils, provincial councils, and so on and so on. With the party which is really now englobing the whole of our population. But there's only one party which is allowed in Iran. Yes, but in that party, all shades of opinions are represented. Absolutely. That is why, for instance, in the past elections, instead of the party presenting one candidate for each constituency, presented three, four, five candidates for one constituency, and the people could choose among the five. And that's why we had the most uh, representative elections we ever had in our history. Uh, your Majesty had some misunderstanding with the religious leaders in the course of your reforms. Does Your Majesty think that the Islamic religion is a hindrance to your reform plans, or has it been in the past? I don't think so. Not Islam. The priests, some of them, yes. But you can say that of all religions. All reformers in the world had to deal with the church, with the clergy starting from way back in Europe 